Today I'm going to the Children's Houston Hospital and I'm gonna be kind of getting ready with the kids for their prom night, which is super cool that the hospital gets to throw them, you know, their own prom when they don't get to go to school and be part of that. And then tonight I will be singing at the Houston Dynamo halftime show. I'm gonna be singing my single head held high and it's end cancer night. So a lot of the proceeds from ticket sales go to cancer research. All right, let's go. So we're gonna hit the ground running here today. Callie got in last night and did her sound check. We're gonna head over to the Children's Cancer Center here in Houston. I think it matters greatly that Callie's going to the hospital because once again, she is you know, using her platform in the right way. There's not a lot of people that are in the spotlight that have gone through what these kids have gone through. So it's I'm sure it's gonna be really inspiring for them to not only hear about her story, but to, to meet her and to have some face-to-face -face time with her and then hopefully be inspired by her story to understand that they can get through all of this and, and there is um, you know, more to look forward to in life and, uh, and, and they can chase their dreams too. I think the wisdom that I want to impart on the kids today is just, you know, just stay as positive as you possibly can. I know that there's going to be times when you don't want to be positive, and that's okay. But when you feel good and you feel up to it, then, you know, just live your life to the fullest. I was watching videos about you. It turned out that as soon as I found out I had cancer, I was scrolling through Instagram with my timeline. It was stuff. like the same time. And you popped up. That's so crazy. I think my advice for you going on, just like tell people your story, you know? Because like a lot of kids like that are first diagnosed, like they think they're alone and you probably felt that way. Definitely. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It doesn't it yeah, just, if you want it to like drape down. You wanna rock it up there? Or even if if you wanna like use it as a head wrap, you probably could. I think I'll just wear it like this. Yeah, it's cute, right? In case it gets cold. Yeah. I I read you have stage three of ovarian cancer. Yeah, I had and I have stage three oh, ovarian no cancer, way. so like I cannot wait to meet you. I well, so you look so great. But so when we came up here, I saw this prom magazine. I'm like we want to help these prom girls because we own a bridal shop. And That's so we perfect. Got this so cool. And then when I saw you were going to be here, I'm like, I got to meet this girl. It's like we're so sisters. Well, for we're doing sure. the same. I'm so happy for you. I'm getting a chance to use my platform to make a difference in individual kids' lives by, you know, going to hospitals, singing for kids. It's something that brings me joy. And not only does it bring me joy, but hopefully it can bring others joy. You know, when you're going through stuff like this, it's super important to, you know, keep your head held high and try to stay positive, even when times are really rough, which I understand, you know? But I just wrote it, because something that, like, I really had to do when I was going through my fight was just, you know, like, look to that light at the end of the tunnel, so. Wow. Yeah. She was so sweet, she's so nice, and, like, I told her um, around the time when I was diagnosed with my cancer, I saw the video of her singing, and it was such an inspiration. Like, it kept me going, and like, a saying that I have all the time is like, if my friends are down, I'm like, there's always a light at the end of the other, like, at the end of the tunnel. You just, like, no matter how dim it is, you have to look for it and look for the yeah, positives over the negatives. So, yeah. it really inspired me. So this is an amazing experience. I met so many kids who have been battling cancer and being super strong fighters for the past few years, which is so amazing to be able to talk to them and hear those stories. I wanted to come here today and just be with these kids because, I mean, obviously music is a big part of my life, but I think the other huge part of my life is cancer and being part of the cancer community, and I never want that to end. For more episodes of Callie on the Good, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified when we post a new video.